so liver and sprouts. It looks freaking phenomenal. I'm gonna just try it alone before I mix it with some bread. Oh wow. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Palamaribo, Suriname, South America. I'm here with my boy Imero from Jenny Tours. And today we're actually starting off with some breakfast at Genelis. Genelis is a food house. They have so many things, easy, like 25 different things to choose from for breakfast. The way they usually do it is they get some bread, you choose one item, and they stuff a big loaf of bread with uh, you know either shrimp, chicken, pork, whatever you really want but I'm gonna eat a little bit of everything, so I'm just gonna hold off on bread, maybe one slice of bread on the side, and then a lot of different things to try. I'm excited, man, it looks really good. It looks, it looks actually like Indian food, but it's such a big mix here between Indian, Indonesian, African, Dutch, you got everything. They even have pancakes, right? All right, because my table is very small, I'm gonna have to lift the food up, okay? So right here we have some uh, cucumber, we got some tomato, some lettuce, some beans, some beef, some pork. So the bottom of the fruit, right? Chicken curry, so kidneys, and shrimp. So the way it works, right? Get your bread, and put whatever you want. I think I'm gonna go with some, no, maybe some shrimp to start. Right there in the far corner. Got the shrimp in there, right? Very yummy, close it up. Nice small shrimp, mmm. Oh, very tasty. Nice like tomato based sauce. Wow, super oily, super fresh shrimp. Now I'm gonna do them on the liver, guys. Grab some of the liver, put it right here. Right there, like a real meat sandwich. But liver, look how amazing that is. Chicken liver is amazing. Mm, I love the, the flavor and the density. Mm. It's so good, so good. Now I understand why they use bread. Oh, Very filling. Delicious. Topping? Delicious. All right. Delicious. Thank you so much. Mm. Hey, morning, Super hot black coffee. Mm. I mean, if, if you think about places to eat for breakfast here in Panama, it's like this. I went to another place called the Smack, and then this place, very similar. You know the bread and all the different things, right? You know what? I'm gonna ask for the pork alone. I'm getting really full of the bread. That's like sweet pork. It's almost like the Chinese influence, the sweet and sour pork. Super sweet. Delicious. All right, so here we have beef. I'm gonna get a little bit, put it on the bread. Nice beef with the bread. As you can see the beef is actually darker than the liver. A little darker. This one's definitely chewier. A lot harder to chew. It's really good, but it's really difficult to get through, especially with the bread. It's a palm with chicken. So this is basically the palm right there. Wow, huge. Just get a good amount right here. Can't have too much bread. Mmm. It's good. Very good. Yes. The palm is delicious. Basically like a chicken salad with like this vegetable and some mango on it. Whoa, get some more. Wow, look at this. Oh my God. The mango sweetness, off the charts. Got the beans. Mm, the beans remind me of Thailand. They eat them a lot there. I'm in love with this food. The thing is that everything has such unique taste to it. So many flavors. The best thing to do is get your bread and just soak up all the sauce as much as you can. Right there, like that. Oh yeah. Okay, so I still have some bread, so I decided to get some more food. I got some delicious liver with some greens. This looks more like sprouts, so liver and sprouts. It looks freaking phenomenal. I'm gonna just try it alone before I mix it with some bread. Oh wow, crunchy, sweet, spicy, mmm, the liver, oh my god, this is my favorite one. It's so good, it's like too good guys. This is like my favorite thing of all time. Wow, 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 wow.
By the way, Yimi knows the best. Literally, he's like, do you want water? Do you want water? Do you need water? <laughs> yeah. Please. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Liver gravy. I'm in awe. I love liver so much. This restaurant's located in downtown Panama Maribu. Okay, Mahoney Land Street. Right across from the two churches right here. Amazing food. Generally? No, my dog is dead. Oh, the food is amazing. Yeah, never. The Thank food you. is so good. Okay. The the liver with the sprouts. Delicious but spicy. Spicy? Now I'm like ha ha ha. <laughs> Too hot. No, but okay. the food is outstanding. Okay, thanks. Very good. And you also have desserts, right? Yeah, also have sweets. Dessert. Wow. A good mix of flavors and this here. Lunch. And that's lunch. Oh, that's the best. That's the best. You know it? Yeah, that's the that's the catfish roe yes. curry or chutney. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that's spicy, I'm sure. Yes, that's spicy. Oh my god, this is so good. Phenomenal place. I love it. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, guys, that's basically breakfast. A phenomenal breakfast, I have to say. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go quickly back to the hotel, grab my bags, get a taxi, and go to the airport, the charter airport, because we're gonna go on a chartered flight all the way down to Panama. All right. And, and that's it for Imero. All right, ciao, ciao. Hey, Welcome thank you so much. Now. Thank yes. you, thank you, dude. Thank you. Yeah. He's been an amazing guide, but I'm gonna see him next time for sure. Thank you. Now we go to the charter airport. No, charter airport? Yeah. Palo muy, palo muy. It's actually been a long time since I've gotten on a charter plane. Last time I think I did this, it was like in Panama and San Blas. And there's another time I did it also in Dominican Republic. I've done it a few times actually. I think I've done it like five or six times around my, around my travels. But uh, yeah, it's a super awesome experience because you fly very small plane, almost no one's on it. It's just you, the pilot, and that's it. That's it, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and they even have to take your weight. And like I said, it's very expensive, but if you want to go to some of these amazing destinations or resorts in the middle of the jungle, you have to go by charter. I mean, I think there's like easily over two dozen out there in the middle of nowhere. This one's really far south. This is like, I'd say uh, like really close to the border of Brazil, but not like right there, but like really the far end of Suriname. And yeah, so we're gonna get to the airport in about five minutes. I'll see you in a second. Hey, thank you so much. Yes, sir. my pleasure. Thank you, bye. take care, bye. So we're on the scale? With your luggage, yes. Yeah, okay. Step on it. Yes. Is how it works? Yes. So I gotta take my... Do you have any... Um, have you fill in any form? No, I haven't, but I can... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Julius, you're my guide for the next two days? Yes, for the next two days. Awesome, so Julius is gonna be with us on the plane. We're going with Gum Air, Gum, G-U-M, and we're traveling with Med's Travel Tour, VIP Lounge, what is this? <laughs> so Julius is gonna be taking me down to Palumu. <laughs> this is like super deep into the jungle. We have to fly on this caravan. It's like 11 seater charter plane. As soon as you get here to the airport, you have to go in. They basically just weigh you with your luggage to make sure they have the exact weight. They don't want to go overboard with the amount of, you know, weight on the plane. And then, yeah, you uh, once you're done checking in, you come here to this VIP area, sit down, relax. A lot of people here, they're all on, getting on this plane and this plane as well. So a lot of different groups going to different areas in the country. And I'm excited. Palomu. What are we, yeah. we going to be doing there? Uh, we are going to explore the jungle. Explore the jungle? Yeah. Immediately as we land there, we are going, uh, I'm going to take David to the jungle to climb the Poti Hill. What? <laughs> okay. The Poti Hill. Okay, we're boarding in 10 minutes. Let's go. Hoffman International. <laughs> so that wasn't our plane, the one we just passed. This is our plane. Same thing though. Yeah, Same exact plane. The one is coming. Oh, the one is coming? Yes. Okay, nice. Thank you, dude. Right. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Have a nice flight. Hey, thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's get on this flight. Woo! Take this with me. Let's board this puppy. Okay, so this is it. Where am I sitting? All the way back here? Uh, where you want, I don't know. Mateo. Where I want? This is amazing. <laughs> I would like the back. <laughs> My man, how many times have you been on this plane? Um, I don't know, it is more than um, 12 years now. There you go. There you go. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seats. The back is like a little couch where I'm sitting to the south. This is like the entire seat. And the reason I decided to sit here is because from here, I get awesome views over here, awesome views over here, amazing. We're actually doing a quick stop to pick four people up, 
But we're taking off in two seconds, guys. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. We're about to take off. Super adventure coming up. Let's go to Paumau. Paumau. I mean, the strip is very small. It's like two football fields. He went down really fast, came down, slowed down, perfectly smooth landing. I mean, a little bit of bumps, but not so bad. Quickly turned around, and then right here we have the, the other four people that are coming on board. Former passengers, I think they're from the Netherlands. Love you, Netherlands. Love you guys. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm very good. I'm good. I'm very good. <laughs> Ready to go? Ready to go. Last name. All right, taking off again. And now we only have like 10, 15 more minutes. <laughs> Here we go.
taking off from that school was epic. I mean, it was a runway, there was also a school right there. And right when we took off, you could see the beautiful Surinamese River. It is so gorgeous, so much lush, so much green. Just trees never ending. Very little homes, it's like villages here and there. It's like sparse throughout the whole entire country. But yeah, wow, I mean, that village right here. Man, I love the river. The river is sick. I love more of places like this. It is really, you connect with it. And it feels something different. Our flight is coming to an end. We're like literally about to land in two minutes. You can see we're going down, descending really, really fast. You can see the jungle. Like the perspective's changed so much now. That you see and the trees are like right there in front of you. Like 80 foot trees, huge trees. 100, 200, 300 year old trees right here. Wow, it's a massive, massive forest. And this all connects down all the way to the Amazon rainforest. You know, it is in Suriname, so it's not considered an Amazon because it doesn't have the actual Amazon River in it, but it's still part of the major Amazon rainforest all the way up into Suriname. Wow, look at all these trees. We're next to the river, landing strip. Here we go. Woo! We did it. <laughs> we did awesome, it. awesome. Okay, let's go. Palomeo, here we go. Hello, hello. So Julius, we made it to Palomeo. Yes, we are in Palomeo right now. Perfect, so what are we gonna be doing for the next two days? Uh, we are going now to- uh, Jungle track. The jungle track. Then we're probably and gonna have some lunch um, out there. Yes, and tonight we're gonna see what the night can give. And, and then tomorrow more tomorrow jungle. Morning, very early in the jungle to see the rapids. Oh wow. Yeah. So guys, I mean basically that was our day. We started off with an amazing, amazing breakfast. Very ethnic mix there. It tasted so good. My personal favorite was the liver. Liver with the with the sprouts. So good. And then we came all the way over here to Palomao by charter with gum air. Incredible experience nice flying and yeah i can't wait to experience this well guys i hope you love this video if you did please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content i'll see you in the next travel food adventure in battle mal peace